Faces passing by too fast to recognize Caught inside my mind Don't pop me loose this time In between these bays Paths made of time and place Silence get so loud to strangers Beckham is a client I got in about a month ago and I'm working with him a little bit differently because he had too much pressure in other areas of his training the last little while and it caused him to shut down and not want to go forward. So now using like a whip or something that people would commonly use to send a horse forward, it's just too stressful for him and he sucks right back if you do it. So I've been teaching him how to stretch forward and reach for a target and then rewarding him for it and then that's how I've been teaching him how to go more forward because it just won't work to do it the traditional way that a lot of people like to do it and it's too stressful for him so I'm trying to just reteach a lot of these cues so that there's a more positive association with them and then eventually I'll link this to under saddle work and hopefully we'll get a more forward and happier response. Searching isn't finding 
Banksy is my yearling colt and I don't really take him out too much to do a ton with him since he's just a baby and much of his learning goes on in the herd with his buddies but when I do take him out I give him a refresher on moving off of pressure and turning his shoulders and his haunches as well as just getting him used to having things around him and checking out stuff like the cone and mostly a lot of the work is kind of just making it into something fun for him and interesting for him so that he looks forward to training and has a positive attitude about learning new things. I don't generally use a ton of treats to work with Banksy because he is so tactile and rewarding him with scratches is actually a very high reward for him, sometimes even more so than food, but I do occasionally use treats as rewards in training with him, but since scratches are easier and he responds so well to them, it's not really as much of a priority to feed him, and I do know some people get really worried about colts getting nippy if you hand feed them. I've not found this problem with him at all, and I think it mostly just depends on how you teach them to respond to treats, but it's easier for me until I get a treat pouch to just scratch him. Looking so good and sleepy. 
Right? And Phoebe. And my mom. I would have vlogged me packing up, but I forgot to, like I usually do, so. Yeah. This is Milo's new dressage bridal. With his pearl brow bands that I've been looking for everywhere for a few years. And I finally found a well priced one at Rebel Equestrian. So the brow band didn't come with the bridal, but the bridal came with the bridal.
Oh my goodness. Oh, that's pretty gay. Oh. <laughs> Look at how tiny Milo's head is. I know, compared to Connor. With that nice liniment. I know, I like the smell of it. I want to hose myself with that stuff. I, oh, he got grass in that one. And oh. <laughs> he is. He's so oh. sensitive. You don't like the feel of that? I think it looks cool. What? What's wrong? So, suppose you can show what his feet look like without these on. I'll take this one off first because he's very Since he's upset. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, how do you even feel that? It's, it's like it's tickling me! It's like take the it princess in the pea. So, take off his Mary Janes. Yeah, he's breaking them in still, so they have rubbed some hair off as they break in, but he's actually not broken skin. But like, look at that. His frog is better, and then these mm -hmm. little bulbs here, they used to only have like this much room between them, and now I can fit my whole thumb in there. And then, the heel on this, like it's still crappy for anyone who actually has good feet on their horse, but way better than it was. Okay, and then I'll show the... Okay, oops, sorry, <laughs> I was drifty. So yeah, same thing with this one. It's starting to get concave, and you can actually see the hoof wall, which he didn't have before. And then again, the heel has way better. His frog is longer. His frogs used to be really skinny and short. The heel on this hoof has always been better, but it's almost correct now. It's not as underrun as it was. This the foot has- you on the other one, you can see it's improvement too. Yeah, so like the white one's always been terrible in comparison. That's important to note, but better. He hates this. So Milo's it's so never good. enjoyed being hosed, but he will tolerate it now. Well, he actually doesn't seem to mind it today. <laughs> so right now this is water, but the green stuff in this thing is liniment. So it just cools them off more because it's like an alcohol base. And then it just makes their muscles feel good. It's kind of like horse rub A535. So you turn you d turn it to a mix of water and... Yeah, after I get it. I see. And get his thumb. So for hosing horses, there's always key areas that you want to hose to get them cooler, which would be the chest right in here where their main arteries are on either side of the leg and then in the back end same thing so that's where they dissipate the most heat so that's why you target those areas and I always hose the bum like last I don't get it drenched like I kind of missed it this side but I always start at the shoulder and then do the bum last um, just out of habit because if the horse is really hot and you soak the bum first if they're prone to tying up it'll Speed up the process. Oh my god, this is freaking pink. So kinky, hey? <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I was just debating who which of us was gonna get to it first. I love the smell of that liniment. It smells like wintergreen, right? Like I, it smells like wintergreen certs or wintergreen lifesavers or something. Yeah. It's a good smell. He's digging it. Yeah, he hasn't moved yet. Usually no. he turns to back away at her. Okay, and then I usually just let it sit for a couple minutes and then I hose it off. And for some horses, some people really like sponging their faces. Milo hates it, so I just kind of rub his face with my hands after he hates it. We'd need like the tiniest of sponges in the hand that he can't see. Or like a glove sponge. Yes. It doesn't look like a sponge. Because even with the tiniest brushes, he's like, mmm, no. He hates it. 
I'm just showing you this mug so that you guys know that my mom's drinking wine, not coffee, when you see her toting this around. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications if you like my channel and want to be kept up to date. Also, my Teespring store is having a 10% off everything in store with code SUMMER at checkout. And I also have a new store that has a new line with embroidered goods on my website, and you can check that out at the link down below going to my main page. Also, if it's something that would interest you, you can subscribe to my Patreon account to get exclusive access to behind-the-scenes footage, early access to videos, as well as patron-only videos that come up weekly, along with other things. There's also a tier for anyone who is interested in getting training help for their horses for a price that's a lot cheaper than what you can get in person. Obviously, it's not the same as in-person instruction, but I can give you more hands-on advice more readily through that tier if that's something that interests anyone. Thank you again for watching, and sorry for the delay in my videos. Things have been quite hectic, but things are going well with the horses. Have a good day, everybody.